Hello, my stand of flamingos. You can call me Lolly. Uh, I have closed the window, so we hopefully don't hear the construction. But I don't, I don't have AC, so my sweat stains might get worse. It'll be fine. Uh, today, I'm going to do the bookshelf tag, because you know, if you've seen my first video, I want to talk about books. Um, and I'm very proud of my bookshelves. They're, they're beautiful. You'll see a clip of them at the end of the video. Uh, first off, I'm going to say that um, the bookshelves in my room were custom built by my boyfriend. He's a keeper. They're beautiful. They go wall to wall. They frame the window. They're great. All right. So, um, and I'm going to link the uh, original video, the, uh, the original creator of the tag, uh, who is a wandering mind. I will link that original video in the description. So, okay, finally, uh, question number one, how many bookshelves do you have? Uh, I have three and a half. I've got three full ones and then this one that runs between the baseboard heater and the window. Um, how many books do you own? Uh, I own about 450 books. I just counted them. I got a little wiggly with um, whether or not I was going to count zines and like literary magazines and stuff. Um, I did not count cookbooks because I don't like read those. So it's about 450 books. Um, many of these books I have owned since childhood. Many of them were gifts or I inherited and the ones that I have bought, most of them I bought secondhand. Um, some of them I've bought new. It just kind of depends on how new they were and whether or not I could find them used. Uh, how do you organize your books? So um, I used to just kind of organize them by author um, and then have certain special shelves. Like I have one shelf that's just Tamora Pierce because I have pretty much all of her books that haven't published and they fill a whole shelf. Now it's, so there's a little bit by special category and then the rest of it is by genre and then by author. Um, my genres are young adult fantasy and sci-fi, young adult fiction, to be read, adult fiction, a random shelf with my books in Spanish, and then um, the Otori series because they just didn't fit anywhere else, adult sci-fi and fantasy. Then I have poetry and plays and theater. Then I have um, technical books and nonfiction. Then I have art books, comics, graphic novels, and fancy play programs, mostly Cirque du Soleil. And then my last shelf is religious and mythology. Um, so my oldest book, I believe my oldest edition, this is something I inherited from my dad. This is Mark Twain's The American Claimant and Other Stories. And, oh, I haven't showed it to you. It's this uh, well-loved thing that smells lovely. Um, not sarcasm, I love old book smells. So the latest um, copyright date on this is 1899. So it's old. Um, and then for oldest for content, I mean, my I, I did not count my mythology stuff because a lot of that stuff came from oral traditions and we don't really have a start date. Um, Shakespeare, Shakespeare we do have a start date. Uh, 1500s. I didn't bother to look up the exact dates further. Um, but uh, another contender um, would be my collection of Japanese no dramas, um, which I have from school. Some of these plays we don't know exactly when they were written, but of the ones that do have dates in them, a lot of them were written in the 1400s, so they're um, quite a bit older than Shakespeare. Um, what is your newest book? Uh, newest book, like newest to my collection and most recent publication would be The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I talked about this in my first video. Um, uh, longest or biggest book? Well, it says longest, but I'm going to add biggest. So longest for number of pages is 
my um, Barnes & Noble collection of the complete Hans Christian Andersen. This has like 940 pages, 972 pages. And then my biggest book, because I want to show it, this uh, beautiful giant atlas that um, my mom gave me for Christmas. But not only does it have maps, but it has tons of um, just data, seasons, conflict, population. Um, I wish I looked into this more, but she's, she's, it's a beast. It's, it's a, it's a table and it's beautiful. Um, okay. Shortest book. That's going to go to this collection of, um, original Winnie the Pooh treasury. Cause, cause these books are, are we, um, uh, for books that are not like children's books, I believe my shortest book then would be, well, it is like a, a young a children's book, but like an actual like book, not like a baby, baby book. This is Morning Girl by Michael Doris. It's tiny. It has 74 pages. Would be another contender. Uh, predominant genre, young adult fantasy and fiction. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five of my shelves are just that genre. Um, have I done a bookshelf tour? Nope. This will probably be about as in-depth as I, I get into talking about my bookshelf as a whole. Uh, uh, do a random number generator and uh, select that book. So what I did was I first just did 1 through 16 for number of shelves. Oh, I should say um, I have 16 shelves and then my boyfriend has four shelves of his books. And I did not count those books in number of books on the bookshelf. Um, so first I did 1 through 16 to pick a shelf, and then I just picked a random book within that shelf, just so I wouldn't have to count through hundreds. So, um, it came up, uh, shelf number 10, book number 23, and that is the novel of Battle Royale. Um, I picked this up, like, around the same time that I read The Hunger Games for the first time, because I heard a lot of people comparing the two of them. And it took me a while to find the novel. The graphic novel is, is really popular, but I just, I knew that there was just a novel. And I did finally, eventually find it. Um, apart from a government pitting children against each other to kill each other and have one victor, the similarities kind of very much start to diverge from there. Um, the, uh, I haven't read this recent enough, either of them recent enough to really be able to go into it more than that. Um, they're both good. I liked, I liked both of them. Um, but it, it, like the bare bones of the premise are similar to Hunger Games, but beyond that, it is, they're quite, they're quite different. I would not call one or the other a ripoff at all. Um, keep clapping. Uh, do you have any fan merch or other decorations? I think fan merch is like, if you have like Harry Potter memorabilia and stuff. And I don't think I have any like book specific merch. I have lots of little decorations. I've got candles and tarot cards and Lots of little knickknacks and some paintings. Um, yeah, like my shelves are also a way for me to display cute things I own. Um, and then uh, the last question is show your bookshelf. So now we will cut to that footage. So here are my bookshelves. Got a little bit of a curtain across the window. My sewing machine goes in the blank spot. More books. The last part. Lots of postcards and memorabilia. That beaded basket is where I keep my knitting. And then I got a couple of to be read books on my nightstand.
Okay, that is uh, the bookshelf tag. Um, let me know if you enjoy. Let me know if um, you have questions about the specific books I talked about or uh, other questions about my shelves and how I organize them and what they look like. Um, hope you have a good rest of the day. Uh, hope you learned something cool. Um, Black Lives Matter. I will have a link to bail funds across the country linked in my bio. Um, yeah, try not to overheat because it's summer and I'm sweating and I'm going to be really happy to open the window.